you know, sometimes when we're overlanding, we realize that there's only so far that the vehicle itself can go. We've been in places up in the uh, upper peninsula of Michigan, out west in Moab, Colorado, Utah, Virginia, Kentucky, and there's many times where we get the, the tundra into a spot where we can't go any further. And sometimes that's kind of disappointing because the whole object is to explore. But uh, the limitations of the vehicle, the width, the height, and whatnot, are limiting factors. And what we decided to do to kind of help us continue our adventures was to build a um, another overland vehicle. And I know that sounds excessive, but it's not really what you're thinking. We uh, went out and built, purchased, and accessorized mountain bikes, but not not your typical mountain bike. These are more overland bikes. So the type of terrain that we usually get ourselves into, there's always loose sand, gravel, rocks, um, tough terrain to be riding a bike on. So we opted for a 27 and a half plus style bike. And the, the tires on those aren't quite a fat tire where they're like four to five inches wide. This is a three inch wide bike, which is much wider than a, t a conventional mountain bike. So once we got these bikes, we decided to kind of kit them up similarly to how we um, set up our overland truck with navigation equipment, um, lights for operations at night, places to store food and water and um, all that good stuff. So I'm coming to the end of the trail here and I will show you what we're talking about. All right, so here's how I set up my specialized fuse bike to be my extension of the Tundra. So once we get to the end of the road and decide that we need to keep exploring, my wife and I both have a pair of these bikes to, uh, to keep going. So first and foremost, like the oversized tires on the truck to get us through sand and gravel and stuff, we went with a plus size tire. And this is three inches wide and you can actually air down to around 10 PSI to get more grip on the rocks and the trails and give you some float in the sand. Uh, for riding at night, we went ahead and mounted lights up here, both front and rear. So we can see each other at night when we're on the trails. Another item we like to use uh, in the truck for navigation is the Gaia GPS app, and it also comes on the phone. So to continue navigation when you're out on the bike, there's a cool case called Quad Lock, and it's uh, for most modern phones, and it allows you to mount it to the handlebars with a simple twist and click. So once you do that, it's on there nice and sturdy and you can continue to ride and navigate as you go. A familiar brand here is uh, Duder and they have provided us backpacks in the past and they also make bike accessories. So this nice little pack here just kind of fits between the frame and an unused area and it allows us to just carry Oakley sunglasses, a pair of riding gloves and you know, a snack like this new match bar, which are gender specific. This one is for men. There's also ones for ladies and there'll be more on that later. So that's a nice little case that we can easily access a, a few small items. Moving down the frame, we come down to this little area here where we've got the water bottle cage, the water bottle from Camelback, a Crank Brothers pump, and then down below in this little compartment is a multi-tool which is accessed from the other side so this is awkward so a small multi-tool from specialized which has all the essential allen wrenches and screwdrivers that you would need for this bike 
to help handle the off-road terrain, the bumpy terrain, we've got rock shocks as well as these hydraulic disc brakes. These pedals here are clipless. I used to ride uh, road bikes and we were always clipped in. So this is kind of a nice thing where you have freedom of uh, getting your feet off, but they do have these aggressive little screws to help grip the bottom of your shoe. But when your foot slips off the pedal and this thing goes down your shins, you will pay dearly for it. And I know that from experience. So that's just a quick look at my Overland bicycle. So when you get out there and you're at the end of the road, make sure you have something to keep exploring. Keeps you healthy, be safe, and we will see you out on the trails.